Hello, um, I am Dr. Kwa. Um, and for those of you that have been subscribing to me for a while, sorry for the lack in videos, but uh, we're going to have a pretty steady stream of videos from now on. Um, and just to kind of tell you what's going on, you can go to my blog that you see at the bottom of the screen, and um, you can kind of track what I'm doing. But uh, I have some cool projects um, that I'm going to be working on. Uh, one of them is going to be a full video manual for Logic um, for free. So I think that'll be pretty cool uh, for those of you that kind of like uh, what you see here. And then I'm also going to be doing a full band recording, and I'm going to uh, videotape every step of the process and kind of do a tutorial for taking a recording from start to finish. Um, but for this, uh, we're talking about main stage, and uh, I really like main stage. Um, I use it three to five nights a week um, in a live situation, and it's just perfectly solid. Main stage is a really cool program. If, if you haven't played with it, most a lot of people have Logic and they don't know what it does, but it. Uh, is a way to host instruments, either Logic instruments or other instruments that you just buy, um, inside a program that's meant to work like uh, a hardware workstation. So it, it turns the, all the Logic sounds and samples into something that plays kind of like an M3 or a Triton or a Phantom. Uh, so it's, it's pretty cool and it, it, for me it works great and it allows you to um, take advantage of a lot of the controllers. Um, um, in my band, I play guitar mainly, and so I, I play the guitar just in a normal way. I go into like a, a effects rack thing or floorboard, and then out to my amp. Um, but I also play keys, kind of part time, and I'm the resident nerd, and so I run samples um, and loops. Um, and so main stage allows me to play all my keyboard sounds and uh, launch loops. Um, but it has more possibilities than that. Like if you're just a keyboard player and you sing, um, you can actually run your microphone into main stage and control your vocal effects in main stage, which is a very cool feature. Uh, you can also use uh, main stage as a virtual mixer for all of your other applications, which is a cool use of it. If you use Serato or Live um, to kind of play live, uh, you can pipe those into main stage and then you know put a DJ mic over the top and play pads or something. So you can like kind of bring all of your software pieces together. Uh, now we're going to just kind of go into um, the screencast portion of this uh, video podcast. And um, I'll show you kind of how I set it up for me. So um, enjoy. So the first thing we're going to start at the beginning. We're going to start main stage. And we're going to start with a brand new one. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to save this. So we can keep saving as we go. I'll name this tutorial. Um, so now our concert has a name called tutorial and the first thing you'll notice is that this is empty right here and what this is supposed to be is a picture of our setup. So we're going to go to these are the modes up here we're going to go into the layout mode and we're going to make a copy of what our controller looks like on the screen. You can download these layouts online but um, I'm going to show you how to do it just so you can tweak it. So I'm going to put a keyboard down here um, I'm gonna just make this really simple. Um, I'm gonna have it tell me what patch we're on. So all this stuff is resizable. I'm going to do a master volume and a meter. So you can make this so it looks pretty much exactly like your controller. Um, and then I'm going to put a vertical fader. And again, this works just like the rest of Mac OS. I can hold option and drag and copy stuff and I can so we're just dragging and dropping so I'm going to do two faders and two round knobs uh, and then all the stuff works the same as anything else um, in Mac OS you can lasso it and move uh, whole things around so I'm just going to make sure this all looks looks pretty Oh, in that layout mode, uh, we need to tell uh, main stage what controllers on our controller uh, these correspond to. And it's easy, you just click it. Um, so this is my master volume fader on my controller. So I hit learn, and then I just move that fader. Easy as that. Um, same with all the other ones. So if you have 15 faders, then just go around to each one and touch each one. That's it. Um, 
So just build this so it looks exactly like your piece of hardware. So then we're in edit mode. So we, we can assign these um, knobs and controls um, either at the patch level or the concert level. Stuff at the concert level will affect every single sound and stuff at the patch level will change with each patch. So there's certain things that I want to map at the concert level, like my master volume. I want this to control the volume and I don't want it to change when I change patches. So this is easy. Again, you just click on the control. So I can actually just hit map parameter and I want it to control the output. That's, that's easy. And same with this, I can map. Um, I can just go to output and hit level. And so that's going to give me the level. So I can see the levels and I, could, I can see what my volume is. Um, then also up here, same thing, I just want this to tell me what patch we're on. So if there's an action for current patch. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to hit this replace parameter label because I don't want it to say current patch. Okay, so then actually in the patch, this is a road sound. That's their, their starter patch always. So um, just like anything else, I'm going to double click in here and call this roads. That is quite easy. So now I have just a stock road sound, but if I want to be able to tweak it, um, I need to map these these uh, controllers to something. Um, so this this Rhodes has a gain control right here that sounds really cool, and I really like it. So I want to map this knob to this gain control. And so to do that, I select the knob and I hit map parameter, and then I touch the drive. That's it. Now. I can play this this roads. I can control the gain in real